Yesterday, Dylan Moore was supposed to make his Cactus League debut for the Seattle Mariners. Unfortunately, that didn't happen. What does this mean for Dylan Moore? And what does this mean for the Seattle Mariners opening day roster on March 30th? Dylan Moore was scheduled to play in his first Cactus League game yesterday, but unfortunately was scratched shortly before the game started. Moore was slated to play shortstop for the Mariners in his first game against the Giants, but then it was reported that Dylan Moore felt some discomfort in his side this morning while hitting in the cage and was scratched from the lineup. He's going to have it checked out more. Dylan Moore had some imaging this morning, and while at the time of recording this, none of the results have come back yet, it is possible that by the time you're watching this, we know exactly what's up with Dylan Moore. Now, this is not the first setback for Dylan Moore this offseason. Dylan Moore had a small setback in his sports hernia surgery recovery, but the M's don't seem too concerned. They think he'll be ready to go by opening day. This was from Ryan Divish on February 1st. And in terms of the surgery that Dylan Moore had, he had that sports hernia surgery shortly after the season ended for 2022. But a lot of guys in the Mariners system have had sports hernia injuries in the past and haven't recovered very well. Last year on March 30th, Mariners first baseman Evan White has sports hernia surgery. And we've heard a ton about all the setbacks Evan went through after that hernia surgery. And it's something that players have a really hard time coming back from. Setbacks are not uncommon for sports hernia surgery. In fact, Mitch Hanniger in 2020 had sports hernia surgery and never saw the field that year of course shortened season but nonetheless he had that sports hernia injury and of course while he came back for a big 2021 we all know the injury history for Mitch Hanniger. Dylan Moore provides a lot for this Seattle Mariners team he can move all around the infield and the outfield he can really play anywhere you want him to and the idea was that he was going to be the right-handed platoon with Colton Wong over at second base but if Dylan Moore has to miss a decent amount of time Who's going to platoon with Colton Wong at second base? Wong in 2022 was just a 138 hitter versus left-handed pitching, whereas he was a 277 hitter versus righties. The idea was that Colton Wong was going to play second base versus right-handed pitching, and Dylan Moore would play second base versus lefties. But with Moore being out for a while, who could possibly play second base for the Mariners? Well, in my opinion, the Mariners have already kind of figured that out this spring training. Sam Haggerty has made his return to the infield. In the past few years, we've always just seen him in the outfield. The Mariners have moved him around at second base, third base, and the outfield this spring training, and I think Sam Haggerty is probably the answer there at second base, at least while Dylan Moore is out. Haggerty, as we all know, is a 364 hitter versus left-handed pitching. He provides really nothing for you against righties, but versus lefties, he's been a pretty good hitter albeit in only 66 at-bats. Though throughout his career in 112 at-bats, Haggerty has hit 295. So if I had to guess, I would say that Sam Haggerty is going to be the platoon over at second base, and he could probably even give a day off to Gino at third base if you need to. The Mariners have used him at third base this spring training. The problem for the Mariners is who plays shortstop if JP goes down or needs a day off? JP hasn't been able to take the field in the last week or so due to soggy shoulder. Please. Please don't mention anything soggy during a WBC year for the Mariners. We all remember Drew Smiley. While I was down in spring training, JP was hitting and did eventually see some time at DH where he did do okay. He can swing the bat, but in terms of throwing, JP has had a rough time. Divish says that JP has been playing catch the last few days, including yesterday in the rain when that game rained out, which didn't make his soggy shoulder any soggier. Haha, <laughs> very funny Divish, lol. He will likely return to shortstop duties this weekend. So in an ideal world, J.P. Crawford is going to be fine and playing shortstop. But that does not necessarily mean that J.P. is going to be all right the entirety of the season and the Mariners need to find somebody who can play shortstop. Let's say, worst case scenario, J.P. Crawford cannot make an opening day start. Let's say J.P. Crawford is out for a little while. I think that opens the door for somebody like Mason McCoy to make this team. And even if J.P. is healthy... Mason McCoy could still make this team for the Mariners. In 2022, McCoy hit 256, 332, 473 with a 96 WRC plus at AAA. He struck out at a 25, almost 26% clip. And overall, Mason McCoy may not be a big answer for the Mariners. I would like to eventually see him get his chance at the major league level, albeit as a backup. He did hit 21 home runs in 2022, whereas before in his career, he'd never hit over 10. So that's definitely interesting to me. McCoy also stole 22 bases. He had somewhat of a breakout season once he got to Tacoma. For the Mariners, in terms of shortstop free agents, the two best remaining shortstops are either Didi Gregorius or Andrelton Simmons. 
Looking at Andrelton Simmons in 2022, he had 85 plate appearances where he hit 173, 244, 187 with just a 25 OPS plus. And Didi in Philadelphia in 232 plate appearances hit 210, 263, 304 with a 60 OPS plus. So yeah, one of these guys, at least we know they will provide decent defense for the Mariners over at shortstop if they needed them to. And would it be better to have them over somebody like Mason McCoy? Maybe, although I feel like I would just rather give Mason McCoy the shot at that point. But if you do want some major league depth a guy who's been there done that i think that one of these guys is the perfect fit for the mariners in terms of free agency of course the trade route is always something that jerry depoto loves to explore i'm not really sure who's available but it could happen the Mariners have been pretty lucky this spring training so far, knock on wood, because Dylan Moore, I believe, is the only major injury that they have had. The only guy who's been out for a while and might actually miss the start of the season. Sounds like JP Crawford will be back, but we never know. This is definitely going to change the projected opening day roster for the Seattle Mariners, at least for Mariner Mojo over here. We will have that video coming out very, very soon. We appreciate you guys watching this one, and go Mariners!